President Anura Kumara Disanayake says the National People's Power, NPP government, has introduced the concept of political retirement, as many former MPs have opted out of this election campaign. Addressing NPP candidates for the upcoming general election, he termed this a transformative shift in Sri Lankan politics. He also dismissed opposition criticisms, stating that fears of instability have been disproven within just 21 days of NPP governance. Former MP Hirunika Premachandra resigns as national organizer of the Samagi Vanitha Balawagaya, the women's wing of the Samagi Jana Balawagaya, SJB, citing frustration over accusations that organizers did not perform their duties during the presidential election campaign. Despite stepping down, she remains committed to the party and plans to contest in the 2024 general election, confident in her political future. In a subsequent retrogression, former MP Karunaratne Paranavathana, an SJB candidate for the Ratnapura district, withdrew from the general election campaign and urged the public not to vote for him in the upcoming election. Former Minister Kehelia Rambukwela announces his temporary withdrawal from politics due to recent events, but remains committed to assisting the public. He expressed confidence in being vindicated by the courts and hopes to return to politics once cleared. Rambukwela plans to focus on business while awaiting the legal resolution. He previously served in various ministerial roles and was released on bail in September 2024. An extraordinary gazette, signed by Western Province Governor Hanif Yusuf, amends the Rules on Procurement Affairs relevant to the Provincial Council Fund. The amendment changes the spending limit for department heads, previously set at rupees, 50 million as outlined in Section 7 of the 2020 Extraordinary Gazette number, 2186-25. The Commission to Investigate Allegations of Bribery or Corruption now requires retired members of Parliament to declare their assets and liabilities within two years, as mandated by the new Anti-Corruption Act. An initial report is to be submitted to Parliament within two weeks. Many former MPs opting not to contest the upcoming general election must comply with this requirement. Cinnamon Air announces new daily flights between Kandy, Sigaraya, and the South Coast destinations Kogala and Hambantota, starting from November 1, 2024, until April 30, 2025. These flights, catering to foreign travelers during the winter season, aim to reduce travel time while offering a unique amphibian aircraft experience on the Candy South Coast route. Education authorities announced the closure of all government schools in the Gampaha, Kalania, Kolonawa, and Caduela Educational Zones on Monday, 14, and Tuesday, 15, due to adverse weather conditions. Schools in the Colombo Educational Zone will also remain closed on Monday, with earlier announcements extending closures to schools in Caduela, Colonawa, and Wadala Zones. Health Secretary Dr. Palitha Mahipala reveals Sri Lanka recorded over 33,000 new cancer cases and 19,000 deaths last year, with oral cancer leading among men and breast cancer among women. Speaking at the Sri Lanka College of Oncologists annual event, he stressed that lifestyle changes could prevent most cancers, while warning that global cancer rates may rise by 77% by 2050. The Sri Lanka Air Force, SLF, mobilizes aircraft and personnel in response to adverse weather conditions Air Force Commander Air Marshal Udeni Rajapaksa has instructed readiness for relief operations with surveillance aircraft on standby. Additionally, a Bell 412 helicopter is stationed at Ratmalana, while two Bell 212 helicopters are ready at Hingarat Goda and Palali bases, alongside specially trained special forces for rescue. Mahela Jayawardeen has been reappointed as head coach of the Mumbai Indians after serving as the franchise's global head of cricket for two years. Previously, he led the team to three IPL titles between 2017 and 2022. Mumbai Indians finished poorly under Mark Boucher, who is thanked for his contributions as coach over the past two seasons.
we lead the web news.